Okay, what's the one thing that we need to do? We need to And we are going to talk about it in this video, so check it out. Derek Johnson and in today's YouTube video what we're going to discuss is being nice and slow. One of the things that happens with a lot of developing throwers, coaches and even athletes at, at a higher level is they want to train and they want to train fast and they want to train fast all the time. We just recently put up a video on three training speeds but one of the things we really want to emphasize is the slow speed. A lot of times it's really critical to make sure that you learn how to move through your throw nice and controlled and feel positions. It's just like one of the things with analogy that we commonly talk about are sprinters. Sprinters don't sit there and and get in the blocks and try to run 100 meters for a PR every single time and that's their workout. They don't sit there and run back to back to back to back to back and just constantly work. They work on their starts, they work on coming out of the blocks, they work on 10 yards, they work on all these variables and that's how you need to work when you're throwing. And one of the easiest ways to feel a lot of technical positions is to slow down. When you slow down you're going to have a lot more awareness of your balance points and whatnot. So one of the things we want to talk about is you'll notice that if I slow down and I move and I'm on balance, I can feel how I can move through the throw. Now granted, you'll look, I didn't eat up a lot of circle because I'm not trying to create the speed to, to and the drive across the circle. I'm trying to hit balance points and positions. I think one of the best people that you can look at, at that is Ryan Krauser. Ryan Krauser is super slow and, and he often, when you watch him, I watched him recent at a competition and he doesn't even look like he's actually going to throw and the next thing you know, the shot puts going 70 feet. So his competition speed, he so works position so he can really feel how to set that up and that allows him to really accelerate tremendously through his finish so it's really impressive but it's a good example to young throwers that it's like here's the best shot putter in the world and look at how methodical and controlled he is he's really working and he understands clearly how critical it is to set up the correct position so one of the things we wanted to do in this video again it's a simple tip is that when you're throwing whether it's the shot and if you just want to see you're just going to feel yourself kind of being able to move through on balance if you're moving slow and you'll notice if I set up off balance and I try to go slow I'm not going to be able to go slow. You're going to feel where you're falling. You're going to feel if you're under rotating, over rotating, those sorts of things. You're going to feel if you're shifting off your delivery leg as you go into the delivery of your throw. So when you slow down, it's a great thing to help get a lot of people back on track. So slow throws are one of the things that we've always done with our athletes that when they're having problems, we want them to slow it all down so they can become more aware of body positions and mechanical positions throughout their throw and then it's easier to make adjustments and continue so now this is why we also emphasize we did do a video and we have three training speeds so we want to work slow medium and fast we do want all three but when you're having technical trouble it's often best to slow everything down especially when you're learning so for our new throwers that are watching videos or coaches coaching younger athletes it's really important to get those athletes to learn how to slow everything down so they can feel positions and become more aware of the mechanics of the technical patterns and stuff in the throw so so again, we're going into this time of the year. We see, you know, summer throws or whether that's in season or we see our friends down in south of the equator and like Australia and other parts of the world where they're going to be starting to go into their track season there in their preseason. This slow throw is going to be really, really key. So hopefully you found that video helpful. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, share, comment below on anything you'd like to see. And again, for those of you who do watch and don't like or subscribe, hey, that's okay. We want to see you getting better too. So thanks so much and we will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.